this is a DeSantis mini scabbard, uh, 41, $41 and change. I've been using this more than anything else lately when I travel. I don't have much of a butt and it's kind of hard for me to conceal a large gun. So I, I like flat guns and I like flat holsters. This is not uh, my primary choice for summer carry because this is a belt holster and not an inside pant holster. If it's uh, spring or fall and I'm in some place where I can wear a covering garment like a shirt or a jacket, I really like this holster because the leather in the holster, um, I wanna say thin, thin's not a bad thing in this case. Thin doesn't mean that it's sloppy or cheaply made. It just means that it doesn't have excessive bulk to it. Another thing I like about this holster is it has a belt tunnel instead of loops on the side. It's really important that you match up your belt to your holster because you want the holster to be in the same spot every time you go to draw. You don't want it to rock and you don't want it to move around. This belt tunnel matches my Galco gun belt very well and it stays, stays put. Right out of the bag when I bought this a few months ago, my Glock 36 slipped right in. I didn't have to go through any kind of break in. It has enough retention to hold the gun. Um, the only thing that's holding the gun in here, there's no thumb brake, so it's just a friction fit. But uh, for the price, I, I really think this can't be beat. This is an outstanding intersection of price and performance. It's leather, has that nice leather smell when you take it out of the, uh, out of the bag. It's got a tension screw, so if you want to tighten it up a little bit and have a little more or a little less, you can do that with it. Um, but again, I carry my Glock 36 in it. It's very nice and narrow and the holster doesn't add any bulk to the gun itself.